What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to color black hair. Now the colors I would recommend for blending black hair would be red, blue, brown, or gray. And I'm going to show you in this video how to blend those colors into black hair so you can color black hair with Copic markers specifically. So when you're coloring black hair, you're obviously going to need a black. I'm using 110 Special Black. And then the color of the red hair, I'm going to be using RV69 and R39. For the blue hair, I'm going to be using B39 and B37. For brown hair, I'm going to be using E49 and E47. And then for gray hair, I'm going to be using C9, C7, and C5. But C5 is optional. So you don't have to go that light if you don't want to. But again, C5 is optional. So, I'm going to be using all those color combinations with this black throughout the video, and that's pretty much it. That's all the supplies you're going to need for this video, and now let's get started. Okay, so for this first shape, we're going to start off with the combination of reds. So, the first thing I'm going to lay down is my black on each end of this organic shape, like right here where it tapers. I'm going to apply some black there. And I'm going to leave some space in the middle so that way we have some room to blend. Okay. And now let's grab our dark red, which is RB69. And just start to blend that into the black. Okay. And now let's go in with our other red, which is R39. And then just blend it together. And then with this red, you can also feather blend. Just flick up to those black lines using this lighter red. And there we go. That's how you blend the reds into the black. So let's move on. Okay, so for this next organic shape, we're going to do the same thing that we did with the black and just add a few uh, brush strokes of black. Gonna leave some space in the middle so the way we can blend. Let's apply some on the sides too. Okay, and now we're gonna do this with the browns. So let's take our darkest brown, which is E49. We're gonna blend from the darkest black to the middle. And see how the value of this E49 is helping blend this black. Helping us push it further if we want, which is what I'm doing. You don't have to do it, but um, that's an option, pushing it forward. But um, our ultimate goal is to blend these black strokes out. Okay, and then E47 would blend the rest of this area. Alright, and that's how you do it with the browns. So now let me transition to the next organic shape so we can do it with the blues. Okay, now that we're here, let's do what we did earlier with our black marker again. And just make some brush strokes. Keeping in mind leaving some space in the middle. Okay, and now let's take our darkest blue, which is B39. And just blend out those black strokes. And then we can come closer to the darkest black that's up here on this shape. And same thing at the bottom.
and then we can use B39 to blend everything back together. And there we go. That's how you do it with blues. So let's transition to the next organic shape so I can show you guys how to do it with grays. Okay, so now for this one, we're gonna do the same thing that we did, is apply our black first. Make that super dark, coming towards these points on the shape. That means build up on layers, then just make brush strokes coming from it. Okay, and now we can take C9, cool gray number 9, and just start to get rid of those black strokes. Okay, and then let's go with C7 and blend everything back together. Now I did say from the beginning that C5 was also an option if you want to go that light, but in this video I'm not going to. Oops. There we go. All right, and here's what all our shapes look like after we colored them using a black. And like I said from the beginning, when you're blending black hair, whether you're doing it digitally or traditionally, I would recommend using red, brown, blue, or gray for the shine of black hair, which is what I showed you how to do today in this video. But yeah, that's how you do it. I got nothing else to say, so if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.